Hey everyone, it's Archangel here, bringing you guys another update. Today I wanted to show you some stuff with my uh, Bulk Reef Supply RO unit. As you can see, I have some replacements here for uh, my mechanical filtration as far as sediment and carbon filters. But I also have on hand a new RO membrane. Uh, I'd like to keep all this stuff in stock in case I do need to change it. But how do you know when to change it? Okay. So what I did was I also bought with my purchase a, a TDS meter right here. So what I want to show you guys today is how to hook it up. So first thing we'll do is we'll take it out and we'll see what parts it has. Get two of these couplings here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll open the couplings. Two parts are for where the tubing is going to pass through and the top part is where you're going to place your probe. Okay, so the tubing is going to come through here. Your probe is going to sit in the middle. Now, when you take your probe out, and we'll do that right now, you'll notice that there are two prongs on the probes. So, you can see right there. Yeah, you two prongs. When they sit inside the tubing, let's see if I can get this on camera, you're going to want them to sit like so. You don't want them to sit through like this. Basically you want the water to pass right through the two probes that way you can accurately measure uh, your TDS. So I'm gonna unwrap this and uh, hook, the, hook up these two probes to the couplings and I'm gonna grab a sharp pair of scissors and I'm gonna show you where I'm installing these two probes. Now if you've hooked it up right the two probes should look like this let's see if I can get it on camera you can see that in there you can see the two prongs that way water can pass right between them and accurately measure your TDS so let's go ahead and hook this up alright so bulk reef supply recommends that you attach your uh, one of the probes of your TDS meter to the outflow of your RO membrane so we're just going to rotate this this way, okay? So we can see that the water comes in through the red side over here, goes through the membrane, and comes out through this blue line. Let's see if we can tilt it a little more. Through the blue line here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our pair of scissors and we're going to snip this right here. That's our outflow to our to my. Uh, DI resin right there. So I'll grab a sharp pair of scissors and have some paper towels on hand because as soon as you cut this, it's probably going to start leaking water. Make sure that your water supply is in the off position. That way, when you cut it, it doesn't start leaking through. So our water is off. I'm going to go ahead and snip this right here. Now Bulk Reef Supply has their own pair of uh, a cutting uh, for the tubing, but I'm just going to use a pair of sharp scissors, okay? Alright, got a little spray right there. And it's cut, nice clean cut. So now I'll grab my TDS meter and the probes are labeled in and out. I'm going to take the red in probe and I'm going to hook up this part to the membrane. The out is going to be what I'm reading as it exits my DI resin. So I'm just going to push this through here. Okay. Very simple to hook up. Grab the other half. Push it right in. Excellent. So now that's done. Now all we have to do is cut the out. And now what I'll do is I'm going to grab this, these extra bits here, grab my paper towels, put it on the floor. I'll probably make a cut right here. So I'll make my snip. Okay. Excellent. 
I'm going to grab the other half, the out, okay, making sure that my prongs are still aligned. Slip one end in. Very easy. Push the other end in. Very easy. And that's it, it's all set up. Now all we have to do is just organize these wires and velcro this. I'll probably put it right here. That way we can start reading our TDS. Alright, I'm going mobile here. I gotta take it off my tripod so we can get a look at these numbers. So I've turned on my uh, RO. We'll turn on the TDS meter. Take a look. It looks like it's showing about 2. That's 2 parts per million coming out of the membrane. We'll go into the out. Now, now we're down to 1 it looks like. Light is very dim on this. Come to the out. And you can see that the TDS coming out of the DI side is 0. And that's what we want. So I still know that uh, that my filtration here is still good, even though we can see that the filter is kind of yellow. These are still doing fine, and my DI is starting to change colors. So we're still reading zero TDS, and we can back that up with some additional readings over here. On my pressure gauge, I'm still getting a, a little over 60 psi. So that means that the pressure getting to the membrane itself is still good. I want to keep that at 50 or higher. That way the membrane is going to be effective. Once I start seeing some TDS coming out on the outside, that's when I'll switch, start switching these guys down here. So you can see I got backups. I know everything's working good. Alright guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments section below. And hit that like, subscribe button, and tell me what RO system you're using, and if it works for you. This is going to be Archangel, signing out.